Hi, it's me again with Pharrell Roll Tips and Tricks. I did a video using this earlier today that somebody sent me and they created this. They needed some help on Texapath, but it wasn't a text, so it didn't. I think we had to do it with the envelope tool. And then somebody asked me how they did that colorful text. So we've got, he actually on his file, he gave, or this one was there. I didn't reach out and ask him. I'm going to take the ellipse tool, and just as long as you make it a little bit bigger than the circle, I mean, the text is itself, we can move that. Because we're actually going to probably put it right there when we do it. Now take this ellipse and fill it in with yellow and take away the outline and take the interactive fill tool and go and just wipe across it and then go right here to elliptical fill. Put your center in the center and then just start adding colors, actually adding colors places. I'm just double clicking. Of course, they're all yellow right now. And you can get them kind of uniformed or spread them out a little bit or whatever you want to do. There's quite a bit of colors. And then you can bring in colors. Let's make the inside green. Let's make the next color. Well, let's, I want a lighter blue in between the green and the blue so I can do whatever I want. Let's bring that color back. I really like that uh, color. Um, we can bring in a purple. Uh, bring in a burnt orange. Bring in another yellow. I mean, it's yellow before, but now we're going to bring in another blue. And I'm not the world's best on doing this type of stuff, but that looks pretty good. Let's bring in another green. And maybe that light blue again. And see, we still got our yellow because we're inside. If we go outside, we'll lose our yellow. So let's say that's good. So you need to take this text now and place it inside. I would not go to the center. We need to go to object, order, front of page, and grab both of them and intersect them. I've got my nudge factor set. Well, I had to. I do not have my nudge factor fat set. I'm going to set it on 10 inches, and we'll grab that and move it out of the way. Well, you know what? I, I, I think I backed up. So now let's just grab all that and intersect it. And then nudge that out of the way. And there's our text. But also, here's our outline that he used. So that's the way it looks. Now, he does have a shadow on the text a little bit. So we can do that. We can just move that text over. And actually, what I want to do to make the shadow, I'm going to make another duplicate. And I'm going to move it over again. And I'm going to take away the outline. Take, I didn't have it selected. Let me just move over there. Take away the outline. Well, maybe it's not an outline. It's a color. So we can't really do that. I'm going to fill it in with yellow. Matter of fact, I'm going to make the whole thing yellow. And two ways you could do this. We could make with the drop shadow tool. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave this like this and make another one. So this one we can drop shadow and just take, or excuse me, block shadow. And we're going to put it up a little bit over. Now it actually did it in black, but that's good because we can go up here to object and break the shadow apart and grab that black and make it yellow. We don't really want the other yellow. So now we can move it over here and move this back, it's going to look a little funny until we do front of page, that was at least the last thing we moved. So there you have a shadow around the text. Now I've lost my uh, outline, so let's put in, uh, let's get that outline back. Uh, there we go, and take away the, I think I got some fill, move the outline back, and there is almost exactly what he had. Now my shadow is a little bit off, maybe a little bit too much of a shadow, but you can grab that shadow. That's happened when you select it twice. And you can move that shadow around. You could set your nudge factor on 0 0.01, grab that shadow, and you could actually nudge it minutely wherever you wanted it. Now I said there were two ways to make that shadow. The other way would be to just take the text 
and don't worry about the shadow and just hit the plus key on the keyboard. Let's make the, the new shadow blue for a second. Well, that's actually making the inside. Well, it's, a, it's a really a color, so we just move that out of the way. So when we put this back to yellow, now you can kind of see a shadow on top of the other shadow. So if we use that same, if we take away one of the shadows, let's move it out of the way. All I did was kind of offset the text. So if we do, I need to set my nudge factor on 10 again. And if we take the outline, you can, and I'm actually, I, I think I picked the wrong one, but see, we just, I just made a duplicate of my, of my shadow so we can just put it wherever we want. So I didn't have to do any uh, block shadow at all. And then go back up to object, order from the page. And there we have it. Let's bring in his and just see how close I am. I don't know how he did it. I didn't reach out to him. Uh, his looks a little bit better. It's a little bit, I, I think I've messed up with the outline. Um, I might have uh, just uh, moved the outline or something or made it little or so because he, he's got better, thicker letters. But that's how he made the colors. I'm thinking, maybe not. But anyway, I hope that answered that person's question. Thank you for watching.